Hello friends today we'll discuss about types of leaf the based on the insertion of the lamina uh, we can divide leaves into two type of leaves this uh, division of the leaf is based on the incision on the lamina on lamina we can divide into two parts one is simple leaf and other is compound leaf now in the case of simple leaves the lamina is entire and if incised uh, it doesn't reaches the uh, midrib the lamina is complete and in case if it is inside it doesn't reaches the midrib portion it is on the top mode portion only and in case of compound leaf the lamina is incised towards the midrib portion like this this forms a compound leaf so broadly dividing there are two types of leaves now we can divide compound leaves into many types depending on the type of the leaf and type of the uh, uh, shapes of the different lamina we can broadly divide compound leaves into two types one is spinetly compound leaves spinetly compound leaves and other is palmately compound leaves and now the spinetly compound leaves means the leaves are arranged on either side of the rachis along the length if the leaf, if this is a leaf leaf uh, midrib the leaves are arranged on either side of the rachis this is rachis this forms the pinnately compound leaf and in the case of palmately compound leaves leaves arises from the tip of the rachis from the common point in in the case of palmately compound you can say the leaf arises from the tip like this so there are two types of compound leaves now we can go into details of pinnately compound leaves the pinnately compound leaves are also many types like in the case of neem uh, or rose the leaves are on the both side of the midrib this is the way the arrangement of leaf is and that is called unipinnately the second is bipinnately in the case of bipinnately leaves you will see in the case like this is a midrib and the leaves is coming out and again there are leaves coming out from there this is the midrib leaves the rachis is there and again small small leaves are there in both side of the rachis so this is called a bipinnately the same way the third type is called the tripinnate in the case of bipinnate the example is a cacao leaf the third type is tripinnate now you can see in the image also there are three three uh, leaves on the top of the midrib here in the image you can see it is tripinnate leaf one leaf is like that and two small leaves are there and rest of the leaves on the lower side so this from the tripinnate leaves and uh, this is uh, commonly seen in uh, moringa 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 
the four type is decompound leaves decompound leaves that is uh, mostly found in carrot here in the picture you can see there is a lot of small small leaf which is uh, having a partition is coming out on both side of the main midrib so this forms the decompound leaves in the same way we can divide the palmately compound in leaves into five types this forms the in the case of uh, uh, the first type is the unifoliate leaves unifoliate unifoliately palmative compound leaves this is mostly found in citrus here you see in the uh, picture also this one leaf and the the low portion axis is broadened to uh, act like a leaf only and it's a, a small sessile leaf the second type is bifoliate two leaves are there on the top of the uh, uh, leaf edge the third type is trifoliate on the tip you can see three leaves coming out three leaves the common example is trifolium trifolium and in the case of bifoliate we have example of uh, like uh, you can say wool mohor or hardwickia plant hardwickia plant or gul mohor we can say so these are three types of palmately compound leaves now other two types are the quadrifoliate quadra quadra means four quadrifoliate palmately compound leaves there you can see one two three four leaves coming out on the tip this is the tip the common example is paris quadrifolia paris quadrifolia the fifth and last type of leaf uh, compound leaf is multifoliate this is multifoliate Uh, tip there are many number of leaves coming out this forms a multifoliate leaves and uh, the common example is bombax or you can say uh, cotton tree also cotton tree has this uh, type of uh, leaves so just giving a glance we are divided leaves into two types simple leaves compound leaves then we have further divided the compound leaves in pinnately compound and palmately compound then we have divided the pinnately compound leaves into unipinnately bipinnately tripinnately and decompound leaves then we have further divided the palmately compound leaves as a unifoliate bifoliate trifoliate with examples and the last two is quadrifoliate and the multifoliate these are the broadly uh, divisions of the types of leaves in the further discussions we'll discuss about the arrangement of leaves or we can say the phylotaxy of the leaves